So I'm back from a whirlwind um, trip to Halifax. Um, it was my first time ever on the East Coast. Um, I've been to the West Coast before. And I guess I've been East before, but to uh, the United States, not in Canada. Um, and it was really lovely. I, I didn't get a chance to see a lot because there were a lot of events that I was invited to. Um, I was very blessed to, or I am very blessed to know a lot of lovely bloggers out there. Um, a lot of you uh, know them as well. Um, and it's a great community that we have. Um, uh, so thanks to all of them for being so hospitable, especially to Jamie. Um, you all know her blog, um, uh, and she's absolutely lovely, and to, uh, to Tara for driving my sorry ass around <laughs> and all of our adventures, but uh, they're just a great group of women, and if you ever get east, you should absolutely go and, and visit each and every one of them, because their hearts are, are so much bigger than they are. Um, and it, it was great, and I think that's what made um, my race experience there um, so much more memorable than the race itself, um, because I was, I was sort of secretive about that for a very long time, and I was actually going out there to run the Blue Nose Half. Um, I, it was sort of a late decision in that. I sort of invited myself out there, um, but, and, and then I, I decided to run the Blue Nose Half. Um, I didn't really tell anyone in, until very late in the game. I had my reasons for it. Um, I don't really want to talk about it, but um, I was the only one that ran the half, and um, it was it was an awful race. <laughs> it was very hot on Sunday. Um, it was a gorgeous day, but it was hot when you got running, and um, it made it really difficult. There were hills at five, seven, and eleven kilometers. Um, and I was feeling absolutely wonderful up until 11 kilometers. In fact, at 10 kilometers, when you got into Point Pleasant Park, which I will now refer to as Point Miserable Park, um, I, f I, I remember saying to myself, I looked at my watch and my Garmin, and it was, I was just at an hour, and I was like, this is, this is one of my best races. I'm, 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 I'm back in shape. This, I'm on par for, you know, almost close to one of my personal bests. I, I'm, I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it, you know, possibly in, you know, 210 maybe, maybe 212, you know, this is awesome. I'm, I'm going to do fantastic. Uh, but then there's this hill, Lynn told us it's called Serpentine Hill. Um, and I got just pissed with myself because that's when the 215 pace bunny caught up to me. And I was like, oh, shiznit. Uh, and then she just blew up that mother loving hill like nobody's business and she was running with a big old pack of people because she caught up to me and then I her walk started when my walk uh, ended so I managed to get ahead of her but then the hill came and I was chugging up the hill and she booked it up the hill and all the people that were with her not make it up the hill. <laughs> they started walking up the hill and they were pissed at her because she was like a bullet. Um, so I'm sure she will not get the best reviews. Um, but, you know, to be a pace bunny, you have to be able to run a lot faster than that pace. And she was running a lot faster than that pace, absolutely. Um, which she probably shouldn't have. But, Good on her. I'm happy for her. And I'm sure she completed the race upright and smiling, unlike being for a bit there. Um, because 17 to 19 kilometers, or 17 to 20 actually, I didn't want to run anymore. Um, I thought in during Around the Bay that it, that was a great idea. Being somewhere where I didn't know where I was was great because, you know, I didn't know where the finish was, but... When I got to 19, I was ready to be done. I wanted to go home, pretty much. Um, I just wanted to see uh, the clock tower 
on that hill because I knew that's where the finish was. That was where the start and that's where the finish was. Um, uh, but I didn't see it. I didn't know where it was and that's supposed to be like the tallest place in Halifax. So I was a little pissed. So I started walking, but I got to that final break at, and it said 20 kilometers on my watch. And I was like, you know what, you can just give her, you can give it for five minutes, you can go fast. And some of it was downhill. But my legs didn't want to anymore. But so I started walking and some jerk was like, come on, Marie, because, you know, they print your name on those lovely bibs. And I thought, oh, crap. Now you have to because people know your name and they're going to shout, you know. And that's kind of embarrassing and demoralizing and whatever. So, so off I go, chugging along, literally chugging. Um, so I see the finish line and I'm still chugging and people are cheering and people are calling your name still. And I get to the finish line and that's where I see the best little support crew that a girl could ask for in a town that is not her own. Cheering for me, screaming, jumping up and down, taking pictures, trying to video, which is so funny, the little videos that they tried to take. Amazing. Um, and, you know, goosebumps, everything, because, you know, that's the thing. I have a great support crew here at home that comes out and cheers for me and has a coffee at the finish line. But to have that in a town that is not your own, in a province that is not your own, that is so far away from home, was just the best feeling that a girl could ask for, especially after two hours and 20 minutes of running that was that was incredibly hard. Um, well, not the full two hours and 20 minutes, but at least an hour and 20 minutes of that. Um, so I have to thank them uh, for that. Uh, as for the race itself, um, Halifax is a beautiful town to run around. Um, I, not the park, <laughs> but uh, the race, the start is disorganized. Um, they could improve upon that, but if you really want to run the race, run the race. Um, they could improve upon a lot of things, and I'm, I hope that they do in the years to come. Would I run it again? Probably not, unless um, that group of girls were running it again. Then absolutely I would. Because I couldn't be prouder of, of Tara for running her first 10K for those those ladies that ran, walked the 5K for the first time or that just chose to because they have incredible spirit and heart. Um, I couldn't be prouder of all of those girls, whether they were standing on the sidelines cheering or in any of the races. Um, and I'm just, and, and Niffer as well um, for her PB. Uh, getting under an hour, which was unbelievable. Um, so all of those ladies, um, I'm proud to know them, proud to proud of all of their accomplishments, and um, I wouldn't trade the experience for the world. So thank you all for welcoming me into your home, into your city, and into your hearts. So thanks a lot. It was a great experience.